lesser butterfly orchid. Rare, precious, vulnerable. Beauty to make the heart sing. Running from childhood feelings. People throughout England once had the joy of seeing these tall spikes of exquisite flowers appear every June. Now, this is one of our rarest orchids. There are many reasons to save these wild treasures, but perhaps the only reason we need is the inherent value of beauty such as this. These are night-scented flowers. After dark, they release an intoxicating, alluring scent to attract the moths that pollinate them. This is a mysterious world that we humans never see. The lesser butterfly orchid has been around since the last ice age, thriving in areas of open grassland across Europe. These areas were created by moving herds of wild grazers like auroch that roamed England for thousands of years. Then our ancestors created these on and off grazing patterns with their herds of animals, which would move through an area for a while, graze and then move on again. Today, in the few places where the lesser butterfly orchid persists, this role is filled by wild ponies or cattle, like these guys behind me. This sensitive plant can find its ideal home, where aggressive plants like gorse and bramble are kept at bay by the grazing animals. has declined by 75% in the last 50 years, so this is something that we really need to understand. If you save the lesser butterfly orchid, you're also going to save a whole host of other wildflowers as well, which are associated with the lesser butterfly orchid, and lots of different insects and other species that rely on this really critical habitat as well. I was just fully captivated by that as a child, and I have been ever since, and I just absolutely love them. I mean, they are the best plants, really, aren't they? Sounds like I need more orchids in my life. You do, need to get out of there. <laughs> These treasures are very close to disappearing, which is why so many people like Mike are working hard to save them. You can be part of the solution. Volunteer at your local nature reserve, in town or in the country, and discover which awesome plants and animals live there. Protect our natural wealth can't live without it. Back from the Brink is one of the most ambitious conservation projects ever undertaken. Its aim is to save 20 species in England, all of whom are nearly extinct. It's the first time that so many conservation organisations have come together with one focus, and the power of people working together is really making things happen. Much of its success is down to local people. So far, over 2,000 people have volunteered to save our wildlife and wild spaces. 